Now we will do a run through of the Faustat website. This is the home page. From this page, you can access the data and useful tools, which we will talk about in a minute. Before we start with the details, I will point out some useful features of this home page. You can see here on the top right hand side that you can choose different languages, English, French, Spanish, Arabic, Chinese, and Russian. The Faustat website is fully available in English and partly in other languages. Over here on the right side, we have the bulk download files for the whole of the Faustat website. These are zipped CSV files grouped by domain. The bulk downloads are some of our most requested products and useful for people doing their own detailed analyses. They are also available for individual domains and we will show you these later. If you want to keep track of when our data will be available here, we have the most recent database updates. And this button will open the full release calendar. The release calendar will show the most recent updates and also the date of future releases for the data sets. We also have highlights of selected indicators by country, rankings, and links to flagship publications, which analysts might find interesting. So if you want something and are not sure where it is, you can come back to the homepage. Everything is linked from here. Now let's start exploring the data. We access the data from the Explore Data button, and I will give you a practical example of how to access and download Faustat data. Faustat data is grouped by themes, which we call domains. And here you can see the groups of domains. On this page, you get an overview of all the data and variables in Faustat. If you want to know what is available for your analysis, I encourage you to start here. They can also be viewed in a table format. Some domains are tied to flagship reports. The SDG indicators icon highlights the domains which contain data reported in the Sustainable Development Goals. The Food Security and Nutrition domain contains the data that is also used for the SOFI report shown on the homepage. You can search for variables or themes you want to use in analysis using the filter box. For example, we will type in crops, and then we can see any domains that refer to crops. This way, you don't need to know what is in each domain to get started. You can just use the search. Now we will show you how to download the data. We will choose production, crops, and livestock products. This is the page that will take you to the data. The layout for all the domains is similar. Most domains will show these four boxes. You will need to make a selection in each of the boxes before you can retrieve the data. From the first box, we can choose your geography. This box has three tabs. In the first, you can pick each country individually, but you can also pick countries by groups. We have data grouped by world, regions, and subregions. You can see that there are two options. Those with a plus sign and total only give you the aggregate total, whereas those with the greater than symbol and list will show you each indiv individual country. We will choose Africa total and list, and you can see the selections made appear in the box below. When working with data, you often need the codes, not only the country names. This box here allows to choose which code you want to use. In this case, we will leave the M49 codes for the countries and regions. In the next box, the elements give you the different variables available for that data set. 
as element, we will choose production quantity. In items, you select the products for which you want data. Like the geographies, you can pick individually in the left tab called items, or you can pick by group in the right tab called items aggregated. The aggregates are specially designed to reflect the groups most relevant to analysts in food security, nutrition, and agriculture. We want to show data for wheat, so we can type directly in the filter box. And then we, we choose wheat. We will leave the CPC codes. For years, we will choose the last five years. They can be selected by using shift or control and click to select multiple rows. Now that we have selected what data we want to see, we can choose how we want to see the data. It gives you flexibility so you can get the output directly how you need it for your analysis and reduce some of your pre-processing work. The output type as a table is a default flat file. Otherwise, Pivot allows showing data in columns instead of single rows. You can save as CSV or Excel. Choose the thousand separator and also choose the columns you want to see in the output. We will leave the default options just now and choose Show Data. Here you can see all the information you requested, which you can view on screen or download. We will download the data and see that the file has gone to the download the files folder. Next, we will look at the pivot table. So under output type, click pivot. Our users like this feature when they want a quick summary or comparison. Faustat does it in one click and saves them the work. To make it easier to view the output on screen, we will deselect some of the output formatting options. If you want to reorganize the table to compare the things in a different way, you can move around the different components of the table. This table too can be downloaded. Let us now leave the data download and move to the right-hand side of the page. Let me point out the bulk downloads. On the home page, we had bulk download for all Faustat data. Here we have the bulk downloads only for this domain. As we said before, these are zipped CSV files of the whole data set and are also grouped by region. The file called All Data Normalized is in a flat file format, while the other files are pivoted by year. The rest of the information in this right hand side gives you the information needed to understand the data and its methodology. At the top, it starts with a short description of the data set. Below this, we have some related documents. These contain information relevant to the data set and its methodology. Under suggested reading, you can find the analytical brief, and that will be described later in the presentation by Olivier. If you click on the definitions and standards green button, you will find a list of all the details, classifications, and definitions of each item in the data set. If you click on item, for example, you can see the code, name, description, and other code lists if available. These tables can be downloaded. You can also get some of this information from the definitions and standards tab at the top of the page. The next green button is for metadata. You can also get this form, the tabs at the top of the page. This is information about the quality of the data set and how to interpret it. It is in line with the FAO corporate standard on metadata. You can also download or print it. 
Faustat also offers some quick views of the data. Now, if we go to Visualize Data tab, we can see a selection of maps, charts, and tables. These can be filtered, printed, and the data exported. Now we have finished with the dataset page, and we will have a quick look at the other sections which offer other summaries of the data. Here in the selected indicators, we can get a profile of Faustat data for that country. And if we choose one, we can see some visualizations of statistical facts grouped by Faustat domain. You can download the data directly from here or export the charts. A tool that is available in the website is Compare Data. If we wanted to look at data from different domains and view it together, we can do that here. For example, we want to see if there is any possible link between nitrogen fertilizer use and cereal yields. You basically will add your two data sets and select the variables to compare in the same way as you did on the data selection page with the four boxes or dimensions in Faustat. Except here, it is laid out in a drop down filters. Let us do that here. So, first, we can select time range by scrolling or leave as default 1961. Then we choose under groups land, inputs, and sustainability. Domain is fertilizers by nutrient. For area, we will choose total world. Element is agricultural use. And item is nutrient nitrogen. Now we have to choose the second data set. So we click add filter. Here we put group production, domain crops and livestock products, area is world total, element is yield, and item is cereals primary. Click on the compare data button and we see the data as a time series chart and also in a table. Both chart and table can be downloaded or exported. From the chart, we can see that the data series follow a similar trend. Now, another tool you may find interesting is ranking. This shows basically the top 10 or 20 countries and commodities. Currently, it is only available for production and trade data, but should hopefully soon be for all data sets. If you are interested in one country only, you can look at commodities by country, 10 products with the highest production in Afghanistan. On the left, highest by quantity. On the right, highest by dollar value. Below is the top 20 in table format. If you are interested in products across countries, you can look at countries by commodity. Here we can choose a different commodity and see which countries are the top producers. You can also see rankings for imports and exports data. It's also useful to note that if you are not sure where you can find information about a specific product, you can type directly into the search box at the top right. Here we will type apples and we get a list of data sets where you can find information about apples. You can click on the hyperlinks to go straight to them. The search box is available on every page. The last section is the frequently asked questions. If you have a question about the website or the data, you can try looking here for the answer first. Otherwise, you can contact us directly, either through email, phone, or even make suggestions to improve the website. We are always happy to hear from our users and make our website as useful as possible. Thank you for your time, and I hope this was helpful in giving an introduction to Faustat.